So today I'm going to take a short flight from Bolt Head, otherwise known as Sorkham Airport, in of robbing Cap 10, the aircraft on the screen. Let me show you where Bolt Head is. And this is Google Maps. So I'm just going to zoom right in. And you'll see there's a runway in the middle of the screen. So the direction of the runway is 290 degrees uh, if you're flying, uh, well, 270 would be uh, due west, so it's slightly uh, nor-nor-west. Oh, if you're flying from the other direction it would be 110 degrees. Oh, just a little bit south of east. There are also some uh, there's some other information about it. There's the Bolt Head uh, Airfield Aero Club, uh, and also this site I use at devonairfields.hampshireairfields.co.uk shows all of the RAF units that were based here during the Second World War when it was first called Bolt Head. And then we have AtlanticWall.co.uk, which has some of the old photographs and the layout. Of the, uh, uh, of the original airfield and, and how it is now. I'll just refresh that so you can see the uh, picture for so this one, how it is now. And the units, the aircraft that flew from there. So, uh, and it's quite close to Sorkham. Uh, let me uh, go back to the map and just zoom out and you can see so this is Sorkham here. Sorkham is in Devon, which is southwest England. Let's just quickly zoom right out, you can see where we are. And back in again. Right, let's get in the air and have a look round. Ready to fly. Now, I just raised my seat a little so I can see down the uh, airstrip. Have a quick look around, make sure we're clear. You can see behind us to the right is some buildings, that's the, the airport buildings, what, what there is of them, they're not, it's not a modern airport. Uh, and the radio tower there. And to the other side, you can see we're, we're some way from the end of the runway. Oh, there's a tent. Hmm. Some scenery, compliments of Neil Birch, I think. Uh, the Robin is a French aircraft, you, you can see it's got kilometres for the airspeed indicator here rather than uh, uh, rather than knots or miles per hour. Uh, so without any messing around, but let's just open the throttle and, and get away. Open the throttle wide. Wait for the lifts to get up and release the parking brake and try and keep it s straight. And then the nose down and try and keep it on the ground until we get to about 110 kilometers an hour take off, that should be enough, up over the trees, got a bit of a side wind there, and we're away. Have a look down to the southwest, towards Cornwall, see the coastline, and uh, that lump out to the sea there is Burr Island, if you've ever heard of it. I'm just going to gain a bit of height and then make a right hand turn over the cliffs and so just along to the west from here there's a place called Hope Cove and I've stayed there and walked along the footpath that you can see along the top of the cliffs there in front of us and from Hope Cove to Sorkham it's eight and a half miles good walk. So just throttle back a little bit. We're doing about 150 knots. 100, sorry, 150 kilometers less than that in terms of knots. About 100 miles an hour, so not needing to be too accurate. And looking down the estuary, that's Kingsbridge Estuary, and we can see Sorkham and a strange artifact across the water there. A bit of height. And back 
straight gently left. You'll see two bays on our left. And the nearest one is called South Sands. And right on the beach at South Sands is a great hotel called South Sands Hotel, would you believe? And you can just see the building now just coming into view, right on the beach. It looks somewhat like that in real life. It's a lovely place to stay. My speed's climbed because I'm diving a bit. Just trying to descend a bit more so you can get a better view of Sorkham. And very briefly over that artifact which looks like it's something on the bottom of the water. We're going over it now. And if you're uh, observing closely you might notice that uh, the moorings, all the boats, look like they're underwater which is a, another funny thing about uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've got some scenery software that fixes it for the southeast of England, but not for the southwest, not yet anyway. So I'll make a steady bank out around over Sorkham. The road layout is exactly as it is in real life, and most of the buildings look somewhat like they do in real life. It's a bit buffeted. There must be quite a strong wind, I think, today. I didn't really look at the weather. It's one of the things about being an armchair flyer. You can uh, uh, you can get away with things like that. So we're just going to circle back now and land at the airfield. So I, I need to uh, increase the throttle somewhat some power on so I can climb it all. Right, there's the airfield. The airspeed's about 150. I'll put some flaps on now. Four flaps. Flaps bring the airspeed down, we're doing about 100 kilometres now, 100 kilometres an hour, and I need to keep it up to that. And then keep a rate of descent. I'm uh, coming down at about... It's interesting, I mean, normally I expect the rate of descent to be in feet. Whoa, it's a buffeting. I'm not a real pilot, I'm just an armchair pilot, although I did do some training in gliders and chipmunks in the air, air training corps as a, as a youth. Let's see if I can make a decent job of this landing. We're in a tail dragger, which means it's got a, uh, just two main wheels and a tail wheel, so the attitude of the aircraft needs to be up for the landing if we're going to make a three-pointer. Okay, we're almost the point of flaring now. Oh, there's a bounce a touch. Yeah, bounce, 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 bounce. Not very good landing. Not a very good landing at all. But we're down. They say any landing you walk away from is a good landing. Just a touch of the brakes. Let's have a look and see what the aircraft looks like. It looks like got no damage, so bring the, bring the flaps up now. And that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.